Okay, I've got a few more examples for you of the kinds of questions you might be asked um, relating to the previous video. So here we've got P is this point 1, 5, minus 3, write down the vector OP. So that's the um, position vector from the origin. And that's very simple to get from the coordinates. In a column vector we'd have it as 1, 5, minus 3 all in that column, or we can write it out in the form of um, the i, j and k unit vectors as well. Next, write down the coordinates of Q if OQ is equal to this vector here. Again, very straightforward, just take those uh, numbers from that vector. So Q has to be at 2 minus 3, 4. Now find the length of OT if T is this point 7 minus 3 minus 2. So we're finding the, the length, that means the modulus of the vector OT. Okay, number 4 is a similar sort of question. Find the modulus of this vector V. So we're going to use our little formula square root of 2 squared plus minus 4 squared plus 2 squared. That one comes to root 24, which means that we can simplify that third a little bit. So it becomes uh, 2 root 6. Okay, now we're given these three vectors. We're going to do some different manipulation with them. So we're going to find each of those four things there. First of all, a plus b. Now, it just depends on the way you like to think about this as to how you write it. For me personally, I quite often to like, like to see these as column vectors to see what matches up with what. Um, so I've written those three as those column vectors here. So you can see we've got 1 plus 2 plus 3 makes, the, um, makes a mistake. Hold on. Nope, sorry, not a mistake, just me reading it wrong. 1 plus 2 makes the 3, minus 1 plus minus 3 makes the minus 4, and 0 plus 1 makes the 1. And then we need to put it back into the ijk form, because uh, that's how it was given to us in the question. Right, um, a take away c. This one's a bit more straightforward to see. Same with the next one. So the, the a minus c, we're just looking at the um, the bits that relate to each other. So do the i's, the j's and the k's separately. Same with part c, so we'll do two lots of a plus one lot of b plus one of c. And d, just to make sure that I don't miss anything on that one, doing these as column vectors so I can see those multiples a bit more easily. Also be sure to make, sh make sure that you put the zeros in. So on that a there was no k part, but we had to put a zero in where there would have been k, but we don't have any k. Okay, now we've got three different vectors and we're asked to describe the relationship between them. So we need to spot how they relate to each other in various different ways. So the first one we can see, they are all multiples of the same vector of 1, 2, or i plus 2j if you like. Therefore they're all parallel. We can also see that b is twice as long as a and it's in the same direction because it's two lots of that vector a. C is four times as long as A, and in the opposite direction, because all the signs have been reversed, they're negatives instead of positives. We can also look at how C relates to B, it's twice as long as B, and it's in the opposite direction. Okay, and our last one for this video, it's, uh, we're given this picture of a triangular prism. Those triangles are right angles, and we're told the dimensions of this shape. O is the origin. I, J and K are vectors which are parallel to O, A, O, D and O, C. So that sets up where the axes are for you. And we're asked to find these vectors. Okay, so let's start with O, B. Now remember vectors are directions. It's, it's giving a direction of how to get from O to B. So we just follow the lines and add up those I, J and K vectors to get along those lines. So if we just pop those i, j, k vectors onto the diagram, it's easy to see that O to B, we'd need to go along two lots of i and six lots of k, because those i, j, and k are unit vectors, they're only worth one, so we just count up how many of them we need to get along those dimensions. Next for A to C, we're going to go minus two lots of i to get from A back to O, 
and then from there to C it's another 6k. A to E we have we've got to go from A to O is minus 2i from O to D is plus 3j and then D to E is 6k. Okay now B to D if we follow the directions we can go from B to A with minus 6k from A to O with minus 2i and then from O to D is 3j and then we just need to rewrite that in the order i, j, k just to keep things in their standard way of writing them.